What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today we're going to do a quick uh, comparison, I guess you'd say, a test of both Claude, uh, we're using 3.7 Sonnet and ChatGPT and we're actually going to change this from 4.0 to 0.3 Mini High because it's great at coding and logic. I'm going to have them create uh, Python apps just to see how they do and uh, we're going to compare the results. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in can you code a comprehensive and functional git desktop clone that allows you to connect to and authenticate to any git repository not just github it should have all the basic functionality it should be written in python and have a modern gui so i'm pasting that in both uh, chat gpt 03 mini high and claude 3.7 sonnet and i'm going to see uh what happens so let's go ahead and start both of these Around the same time, I started ChatGPT first. This one's already giving us uh, some results and the other one is uh, thinking and starting up as well. So we're gonna compare uh, how long the code is and then we're actually gonna compare the apps as well. So we can already see that uh, Claude is going pretty quick, but GPT is shortly after. It does look like they were both able to generate a script for it, so that's nice. Except GPT is already done. Uh, that's very quick, but that's okay. We're gonna try it out and see what they look like. Wow, so Claude is still going. So it's been going for a while here. We're definitely gonna have to check the code length on these. And it's still going. That is one thing I do like about Claude is that it will continue uh, much further than ChatGPT, even in their uh, API, in my personal tests, I've found that I can get longer results from Claude over ChatGPT, because this thing is insane, it's just still going. All right, so it looks like it didn't actually finish. So I'm gonna hit continue, and it's going to continue the code and hopefully finish it in this one. So we can tell that it is uh, quite long. Right now I've saved the ChatGPT one and it is 225 lines, but I believe this one's gonna be a lot longer. All right, so it looked like it finally finished. So let's go ahead and download that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and do it the same way I did for this one. So we'll make a new text file and name this Claude.py. And we'll open this one up. Yeah. So. Claude.py is 1,417 lines of code, while ChatGPT03 gave us 225. So these are both saved, so let's try them out and see what they look like. If I go to terminal, maybe maybe ChatGPT is just that much more uh, optimized, right? So we're gonna open this one. If we go to file, we can clone repository and get a URL. That's pretty useful. Let me copy a URL and paste it here. Then we can browse the local path. I'll put it on my desktop and we'll hit clone. Now I see it show up right here. Not responding, but probably because it's downloading the files. Repository cloned. And there's the commit history. We can refresh, we can pull, push, and commit changes. Honestly, not too bad. It's pretty uh, bare bones, but it does everything we need it to do, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and close this. And let's try out Claude's. Okay, so I needed to install a dependency, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And here it is. Already we see that it's a very nice looking uh, GUI in comparison. We have a lot more options. Uh, looks like we have an about page. We have uh, repository options for fetch, pull, push, commit, and branches. We can open or clone, and we also have buttons down here, so let's clone a repository. I'm gonna delete this one that ChatGPT made, and I'm gonna paste that same URL here, and we're gonna find the desktop and select. Now we do have options for credentials as well, just like the other, but we can also save credentials here and uh, clone submodules recursively. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now it's downloading. Uh, we don't get any hanging here, which is nice. We can open up the folder and check its progress. And there it is, completed successfully. Let's go ahead and close. And we'll go to Open Repository. We'll choose the one it created. And here it is, wow. A very organized file viewer, as well as all the options specifically for that and individual settings for that one and it's tabbed so you can have more than one. I think it's safe to say that uh, 
Claude won this one. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you have any tests you'd like me to try out, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. That's that digital guru with a modern day voodoo. The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds. You can learn a thing or two about a new device. Unbox and kudos, we rock that pseudo. Administrative elevator command. We build it up and break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?